it's day one. Let's just be honest, let's get right to it right here. I am so out of shape. I do not look good. Like, I just... Things are not so hot right now and I need to make a change. I feel like I go through this thing where most of spring, summer, into fall, like I'm like so healthy come winter time. Everyone's like usually like a little like like heavier in the winter. I feel like I've gone so long where I just haven't gotten out of it and I don't like it. Like I don't like to get dressed. This is terrible. It's literally March today. It's March 1st. I'm going on spring break in two weeks and I want to feel good when I'm there. I don't want to feel like this. It's just, it's time. This is overdue. I can't change my habits the past couple months. Like it's, you know, all I can change is like where I go from here. I woke up, I drank a lot of water. I'm about to go eat some breakfast. These next two weeks, I'm trying to transform myself. I'm so much happier and have so much more energy when I like how I look and when I'm doing things that are good for me. This, she's gone. Like soon she will not be here. Let's do a little before comparison. It's me, this she right now, like my stomach is just not tight whatsoever. And like this, this needs to go. Okay. Also, I have no muscle in my legs. My legs are usually at least a little bit toned. They're just not. Major cellulite on the back right now. My shorts like barely fit. Like literally like disgusting. Ah, <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. We're not looking that like that again. So it doesn't matter. Throughout the course of this, I'll definitely be drinking a lot of water throughout the day. Not only is it like good for your body, it's good for your skin. Like there's just no downfall of being hydrated. Really the only con is that you just have to pee a lot, but I'll, I can get over that. Well, I really want to start off every day, like even before breakfast with like a lot of water. That's exactly what I did this morning. I'm about to eat breakfast. I always eat breakfast every morning. Like I'm not an intermittent faster and it's not bad to eat breakfast as long as it's a healthy one. Like I, I love breakfast, but a lot of the times I wake up and I'm not super hungry. So I'm just gonna start out with some berries. Berries are like the like the healthiest kind of like fruit you can have, especially raspberries. So I'm just gonna have all of these some water for a little while. Also, I am not giving up coffee. I drink coffee every day and black coffee with a little bit of cream is not gonna kill my entire vibe here. So I'm just gonna make some black coffee and I'll show you the cream I use. Right now I just have this classic like vanilla one. There's 35 calories per tablespoon, which is a serving. There is five grams of sugar though, and I'm actually not really sure if that's a lot. I'm gonna go grocery shopping after work and I'll pick up a better one. I am able to have all my meals at home throughout the week. I have full control over that, so like I'll be good. I am for sure cutting out Dunkin' and Starbucks this next two weeks for sure. I don't need that. Making coffee at home is probably so much better for you. We're gonna do it. We're in this together. You are motivating me. Thank you. Also, when you're trying to get in shape, do not weigh yourself every day. First of all, you're not gonna see instant results. That's just not how it works. Second of all, while you may be losing fat, you may be gaining muscle, the numbers just don't tell the true story. And your weight fluctuates throughout the day. We don't even have a scale here. We're not that high class in this college house. If we had one, I would not be using it. It's it's just a number. Lunch time. Okay, so I love toast. I love peanut butter toast. I love toast. I love the smell of it. I love to eat it. I love bread that's baked again. So I have this really good whole grain bread. You don't need to entirely cut out carbs. I mean, some people might want to go that route, but I really feel like if you find the right bread, you're probably not, you know, doing a whole lot of damage. This is whole grain. Pretty good bread that I'm gonna be using with just some natural Jif low sodium peanut butter. So peanut butter toast is like one of my favorite things in the world. You know, I really think the only things I will need to be drinking is water and coffee. I don't even like like soda that much and we are not drinking alcohol because that is bad for you. That is calories, that is fat, that is just no nutrients, that's empty. I just got done with work. I decided that I'm so hungry, I need to get home and eat. And I'm gonna go to the grocery store in the morning and then I'll have time to plan. And I won't be going to the grocery store hungry because then I'll buy everything at the store. I also finished one of these, so I desperately need to refill this and keep drinking. Drinking water before your meal, it'll kinda, I don't know, spark your metabolism, maybe make you feel more full, that's good. So I actually have this leftover stuffed pepper. This was a HelloFresh meal, so great ingredients, like it's it's rice, it's like avocado, there's some tomatoes in it, and like a green pepper, so very good. And then I also just filled up a separate cup of water because I had half a lime in here, and I kinda wanna just, you know, 
have some fun and squeeze the other half of the lime in this water. Maybe it'll be like a little detox type thing. Maybe not at all, I don't know, I'm just having fun here. I need to slow down my eating. I like eat fast and then I finish and I'm like, oh, I'm still hungry, but like I'm probably not still hungry. Let's work out. Really haven't worked out in so long. That was tough. <laughs> it's um about 7.50 and usually at night I like crave sweet things. And I think I'm gonna try to like not eat past 8 p.m. So it's right before 8 p.m. and I'm gonna have a little nighttime snack while I do my homework. Spoon of peanut butter. Good morning, day two. Oatmeal for breakfast. We just have our classic Quaker, but I did get 50% less sugar, basically tastes the same. I'm not trying to have all that sugar. Oatmeal is very good for you, if you get the right kind. If you don't, then it's just all sugar. Grocery haul. I only got a couple things because I feel like I will like buy a couple things and I'll eat them a lot throughout the week, but then I'll get sick of them and I'll have to like find something new to buy because like, I don't know exactly what's like really good for you, but when I know something's good for you, I'll tend to like stick to it until I get sick of it. I'll be back at the grocery store soon enough, but I really don't mind like going often rather than just like bulk shopping. And then my stuff doesn't go bad. Spinach, I'll definitely be making some salads or throwing that in eggs and stuff, and then tomatoes for the same purpose. Blueberries for breakfast instead of raspberries because I just finished raspberries, so I'm switching to bloobs. Two avocados. I got this. Que Why do you say that? Quinoa, I literally don't even know, but this could be like a dinner one night. It's just like a frozen like veggie thing, but I was like, hey, why not? Let's do it. Darkest tuna packets. I'm gonna throw these in salads because I love tuna and tuna is actually pretty good for you. These are literally 70 or 80 calories. There's like no sugar. There's like barely any fat. I also did end up getting one of those natural creamers, but now that I compare the two, they literally have the same ingredients. It's just this one is made from cows not treated with growth hormone, so. Time for lunch before I go to work. So I have this salad here. The tuna, the Star Kiss tuna packet is like deli tuna. So there's already stuff mixed in it. So I don't even need a dressing. It's literally spinach, tuna, and tomatoes. I love tomatoes. So I put salt and pepper on it. And then I love cottage cheese. And one of my favorite snacks to do with it, which people might think is a little weird, is I threw a serving of cottage cheese in a bowl. I put some salt and pepper on it. And I actually like to dip my pretzels in it as if it's like hummus or something that's kind of how i think about it i still haven't had a cup of coffee today which is exciting because i'm trying to only drink one a day and i will make it and bring it to work that will be perfect and i've been drinking all day just got home from work bone apple teeth update tuesday i feel i'm feeling good i've been Sticking to one cup of coffee every day, which is great. I woke up early this morning and I had to get a little bit of studying before I went and took my exam this morning. So that's why I only had a little bit of berries. I wasn't too hungry. Lots of water, you know the drill. Um, back and it's time for lunch though. So I'm really in the mode, mood for peanut butter toast. Okay, I know this doesn't look like a lot for lunch, but I'm also gonna make my coffee right now because I didn't have it this morning. So I'm gonna have it. Maybe I'll have a snack later. I'm just trying to do this thing. I'm listening to my body. I know once I eat this, I'm gonna be a little full. You know, I know this may not look like a lot, but I'm not trying to like scarf down an entire meal at lunchtime. Sometimes lunch can be a little lighter. What's nice is that like, no matter what, I have class two days a week, so I have to walk. Also, I tried this creamer. It is so good. I'm gonna throw that in my coffee again right now. And I am pumped. I'm most excited to not only get in shape, but just be alive and like have more energy. Junk food just drains you. Still need to get better at sleeping. Last night I did not sleep because I procrastinated so much on my studies that I had no sleep. So that's my own fault. Sleep is important like food and exercise. So hungry. I was like falling asleep in my first class and alive in my second class. So I'm not really sure what this energy level is like right now. But dinner tonight is bowl and I'm gonna throw an avocado avocado in it because avocados go go because avocados go good and basically everything good morning it's wednesday okay, honesty hour yesterday after i ate i did a lot of homework and i didn't get a real workout in i just didn't make time for it like i don't have an excuse i literally did an ab circuit and like a squat circuit in my room and that was that so i had to finish a paper so i was like well not today. I'm still sore from my first two days working out because, you know, I'm not really used to that. I have some time before work, so I will get a nice, long, 
cardio in today and I'm kind of excited about it. I woke up extremely hungry today so I'm gonna have breakfast right away but before we do that I'm gonna give a little um, physique update. One thing is though I feel kind of gross. I just got my period so I feel really like bloated so that may or may not skew the results this week at least. Obviously it'll be gone like soon. Okay I'd say progress is in the works. I mean we still have a ways to go. Making our way. Remember nothing is instant. Okay, I actually have a little bit of time today to like, you know, get some workout footage in and I am dying. I literally am so out of shape still. I'm trying so hard. It is so nice out, which helps so much, but it was definitely challenging. Every time I run, when I finish, I am like so bloated. Is that normal? Like, why do I always feel so bloated after I'm exercising? Like, that's good for you. Shouldn't I feel like not large? Snack time. I need to remember to eat slow. Makes you feel fuller quicker. I'm sure you've heard the spiel, but I just need to stop chowing down my food. Hi, okay, my boss called me to go into work early, so I did, you know, speed get ready, and I didn't even have time to make my real lunch. Wanted to make like the salad that I had the other day, the tuna one. So instead, I literally just grabbed this packet, the same tuna packet, and ate it on the go, and I had some tomatoes with it. So I guess the only thing I was missing was the spinach. Thanks, Starkist, for being so portable and convenient. See you after work. So last night I was like, okay. I was like just crabby when I got home from work, so I didn't feel like making dinner. So that's why I ended up with just peanut butter toast. I just got back from class and I'm gonna go for a run and then I think I'm gonna do this like video workout that I've really been liking. Like an all over body one, but I feel like it's very like core engaging and I like that. I knew coming back from class, I wanted to like get home, drop off my backpack, like get ready and go work out. And I'm gonna do that right now. Don't worry, I'm gonna, gonna get there, gonna do it. The thing is though, if I were to come in and like sit down and like chill for a hot sec, I probably wouldn't go or it'd be so much harder for me to go. So like, as soon as I get home, if I, it's in my head that I need to like go do something or go work out, like I gotta get out of here. That being said, let's get out of here. It's like really windy out today. So I put a hat on hoping that it would protect my ears a little bit when it's windy or even just like kind of cold and I like go on a run. My ears hurt so freaking bad. Feeling good. Hello. Ooh, ooh, the sun. It's been a hot minute. I had friends visit the past two days, so things have been a little thrown off, but that's okay. Thursday was a good day. I had a great workout. I had, you know, health all day. Lovely, okay? My friends came in. We hung out, whatever. So then Friday, obviously I wasn't eating 100% because I had friends here. I'm not going to make them do that. It's kind of hard, you know, whatever. So, like, we slept in. I had, like, eggs, you know, normal breakfast. I did not work out Friday. I will today, it's now Saturday. They have left this morning, we're okay. We did go out to dinner though. Thursday was good, Friday was a little shaken up. I didn't eat that bad though, like I'm still like keeping this in mind. It's now Saturday, I am at the mall. It's about to be a madhouse. I don't know why I chose to come here right now. Well, I wanna get spring break clothes. Just, you know, had some coffee. We're gonna get back on track. It's beautiful outside. I'm gonna get a killer workout in later. Um, I did a lot of walking this weekend though, so that's still good. I didn't just like be a bum. Okay, we're leaving one week from today. We're leaving to go on spring break and I'm not ready. I do feel a little better than when I started, but I'm nowhere near ready. This week, I'm gonna have to step it up a notch. Oh, you already know what is for lunch. Favorite snack for dinner. It be like that sometimes. Last night was daylight savings and we lost an hour of sleep and I'm definitely feeling that right now, but it's so nice out, so I need to go on a quick little walk. Wake me up a little bit, you know? Morning walk, it's nice out. It is literally beautiful out today. I wanted to work out before work so bad, but every time I tried to wake up, I was just so tired, so I'll have to do it after. I just got done with work and I'm tired and I'm hungry. I just had blueberries this morning, but I woke up like so late, like right before I had to leave. So I wasn't like that hungry. So we're gonna get inside. I've been drinking so much water all day, which is so good. I'm just gonna have a piece of avocado toast because I wanna go for a run right away. And if I eat two, 
I'm gonna be cramping up, you know? I was being so loud, man. That was good. Time to stretch. Good morning. Woke up early, gonna get stuff done today. Cheers. Hey, it's me, I'm back. I ran a couple errands, it was very productive. I did not work out yet though. I wanted to this morning, but it's like raining all day and I'm kind of scared of the gym. Here, we're gonna see what we can do after work. I have like no food in my house. Right now for lunch, I'm having my ever so famous cottage cheese and pretzel dipping. The water, we'll make a coffee before we go to work. I need more food after this because I don't really have any. I haven't gone grocery shopping. I don't want to because I'm going to spring break soon. Holy shit. I'm not ready. <laughs> Obviously that was not a big lunch. There's a couple things to keep in mind. One, since I've actually been eating regular serving sizes, my stomach has shrank a little, so I like get fuller quicker. Also, constantly drinking water keeps you full throughout the day, and I know I'm about to make a cup of coffee and bring it to work. Coffee like really fills me up, so if I'm like too full when I go to work, I won't wanna drink my coffee, but I need the caffeine. Best part of the day. I just got home from work and I have a massive headache. I need to do some homework and I need to get a workout in. Like, I have to. The best dinner. Going strong. I don't want anything else right now. It's literally 11.30 and I finally finished my homework. It's so late, but I need to get some exercise in me. So I'm just gonna do, like, a video. I found some that I really like. We'll do a bod update in the morning. I still could use some help here. I'm really sore, but I am every day, so my hips are killing me. Good morning, it's Tuesday. I'm exhausted. Little physique update. I'm feeling decent. My legs look kind of slimmer already too, which I wasn't really necessarily expecting. Still, it's just this like muffin top, you know, but we're getting there. A couple days left. I'm really not hungry this morning. I just drank like a lot of water like I do in the morning. I don't think I could eat a whole bowl of oatmeal right now. One serving size of peanut butter is 190 calories, and that actually is some substance. But I do still want to take coffee to class. It's not good to have coffee on an empty stomach. I think I'm just so tired right now that I can't even be hungry. So I've had nine good days, like seven very good days. Let's finish her out. Almost there. Hi. Okay, good news. I have more energy than I did when you saw me last. I got home from class. I drank a lot of water. I just filmed a video. I would like to work out now, but I really need to edit, so I'm gonna have to work out after class, which is no problem. I have plenty of time. It's nice out. It's beautiful today. I can get outside, but I really need to use up the rest of the food I have before it goes bad. I'm gonna make a salad. Okay. <laughs> However, there's a catch. I don't have anything to put on the salad, so I'm literally gonna put the other half of my avocado and do some red wine vinaigrette. And I'll have to eat a snack if I'm literally eating leaves for lunch. That might have been the most boring, weirdest salad ever made, but not gonna lie, it felt really good. Hey, I have some of my teeth, love it. Felt really good to get in my greens. Guys, it's Tuesday, I leave soon. This lighting right now, wow. I just finished my second full one of these and it's 1.30. I am so Hungry. I mean, eggs and toast. I'm gonna go work out. It's beautiful out. I'm very excited to get it in. I would feel so good when I'm done. I feel like I haven't have had eggs in ages. So excited. I didn't get much sleep last night, so today's run was so freaking hard. But I did it, and now I gotta finish the rest of my workout. We're gonna recover from it. One weekday. He's just gonna make a stronger day tomorrow. Morning. It's Wednesday the 11th. I leave this Saturday. Feeling pretty good. Before I feel like I could really just grab all this fat. I still can, like there's stuff here, but just not as much. And my legs feel a little better. Progress. Today is not really going as planned. But do things ever go as planned? Not really. So I woke up late, I didn't get anything done. I just went and got my nails done, which was part of the plan. I clearly didn't have time to work out this morning because I am sucking right now. So I'm gonna have to when I get home. My boss asked me to come to work early, so I lost more time. I really need to work out somehow when I get home, but spring break's almost here, like I can't quit now, so we'll figure it out. You guys, the waist of these pants has not fit in so long and it fits like comfortably. Good morning. I have to leave in 10 minutes. Last oatmeal. Did a lot of homework. I ran an errand and for some reason I'm just like really not that hungry right now. So I'm going to finish my cottage cheese and my pretzels and then I think I'm going to buy dinner. 
You literally have no idea how excited I am to eat this. Oh my God. That was an absolutely torturous drive home, driving home in traffic, having to smell this amazing smell and not being able to eat it. Look at her. So good. They offer you like a free piece of like slice of bread to go with it, with it on the side. I didn't take it. It's like white bread, probably not the best for you. Let my stomach settle for a hot minute. All my toes are numb. So I thought it was freezing out. So I wore like a crew neck. Definitely didn't need to do that. Wow, this angle is just really cute. Hey, don't forget to stretch. I'm trying really hard to get my splits back. I'm feeling so fresh. I need to take a shower now and finish the rest of my water. I haven't washed my hair in like, I have no idea how long. And I'm going to do a hair mask so that my hair is like bright and voluminous officially friday i'm going home today we leave tomorrow i like bounced out of bed today for some reason so i'm gonna go eat breakfast and then i'm gonna pack for spring break and then i'm gonna work out i can't believe it's tomorrow i don't necessarily know if i'm ready i'm not like not not ready i've been packing all morning i'm literally throwing like everything i own in a bag i'm gonna re-go through it later because i'm driving home soon so i really need to get this workout in like now because i need to get my butt home nothing like being in a rush to get you motivated maybe i'll just run fast today update it did not make me run faster i'm gonna have to like stretch and like jump in the shower now so i can finish the second part of my workout later it just sucks because i like to do like strength after my body's warmed up from cardio. I have a theory, I work out so much better if I don't have to wear pants, like if I can wear shorts. I just feel more free. I love soup, I love dumplings. About to go on my last run and workout before spring break. Okay, like we made it, it's Saturday. I'm getting ready to leave. We're leaving in a couple hours for spring break. I think it's time to end this journey. Remember this was the before. Here's everything. And this is what I look like after two whole weeks. It's really crazy what 10 pounds can do to you. That was really just 10 extra pounds of bloating and fat and just eating not well, but like this is like my true size, I feel. Even my legs look better. I mean, they're not very muscular, but they just look so much better overall. This is crazy. And just because spring break is here doesn't mean I can like call it quits and like start eating like crap. But I made it here. I'll be okay to go on my trip and then just keep pursuing. The thing is too, like I wasn't expecting to come out of this with full blown abs. Like that's just not realistic. But like I just feel a lot better. I know I said like, it's like not always good to be like comparing yourself on the scale throughout the whole time. But I did weigh myself before and after and I literally lost 10 pounds. Like. 10 pounds makes a difference, like that was great. The only things that I did to do this was one, drink lots of water, two, like listen to your body, like only eat when you're hungry and just make sure you're eating good. Like you don't have to starve yourself, like you don't have to eat like only green leaves. Just eat good overall and make sure you're not having empty calories. Not that hard, you know, to just avoid like unnecessary sugars, unnecessary processed foods. Another thing, I only drank water and I had coffee with like cream in it. I'm, I was never a huge soda person. I didn't waste my time on like sugary drinks. Also, I have to say it, you will not get anywhere without exercising, okay? Eating clean does a lot for you, but you have to move. And it doesn't have to be crazy. I literally would go for runs and do like extra stuff when I got home and it made a difference. Like I'm a little more toned. I lost a lot of excess fat that was just hanging around. I think the last thing really was just that you have to stay motivated. You have to keep your mind on track or you're not gonna achieve it. Water, eat clean, listen to your body, only eat when you're hungry. You gotta exercise and really stay motivated. You won't get instant results, but don't make that let you fail. I cut out like all that extra weight, which I had just been like carrying around from unhealthy habits. So once I started to clean those up, it was pretty easy for that to just kind of fall off of me. But now I just need to keep working to make sure I stay in shape and like continue to tone my body and just get stronger. I hate being out of shape. I hate being tired and weak. So that two weeks was quick. Some days I know I really didn't eat a lot, but I wasn't starving myself. Like I ate to be not hungry and 
when you eat healthier, sometimes a little bit goes a long way. Sometimes we just overeat. I hope you got anything out of this. I feel like those five things really helped me a lot and I wanna keep implementing them in my daily life. This was just my journey and what I did two weeks before spring break to get ready for it and I'm gonna continue to try and be healthy and you know improve my life make things great, have a great time on spring break. Thank you guys so much for following me along. I know this was really long, it was two whole weeks of like kind of vlogging a little bit by a little bit, day by day. Um, You got to see some of the kind of healthy things I like to eat. I eat a lot of eggs, I eat a lot of peanut butter, a lot of um, like salads I like to make at my house. Tuna's good for you, like just water all the time. Let me know if you stayed till the end of the video, like leave me a comment, let me know what you think. I hope you can take some of these habits and implement them into your lifestyle. I'm gonna go have fun on spring break with my friends. I'm not gonna hold back. Have fun and then get home, refocus my mind. A healthy mindset, a healthy body, a happy life. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe if you wanna see more from me and I'll see you guys in my next one.